gosh, it's been such a long time. I feel like it's been forever since I've made a video. But I'm back tonight, and we're going to try and get a message from the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, can you please lead me, guide me, direct me, show me what we need to see, connect us, and protect us. And I've ordered some new Palo sticks. Um... I've ordered them from a, a source that I think is going to be a lot better than this one. I, I think this is just a fluke, honestly. I mean, it could be negativity, but we're protected from anything that comes against us because the Holy Spirit keeps us protected always. Um... Holy Spirit, can we get a reading, please, for the collective? What message do you have for us? Can we be nosy? Wow. Cleanse this space, please, Spirit, for your purposes only. So we can see what you want us to see, hear what you want us to hear, feel what you want me to feel. Give the collective the spirit guides. Can you please help me? Can you please chase our enemy away and confuse our enemy? Thank you so very much. All right, let's get started, shall we? Okay. We're going to start with the virtues. We're going to see the person the collective came here to, to inquire about. Maybe it's a twin flame. Maybe it's just a person of interest. The masculine energy that they came here. If you're looking at a masculine energy. Will you show us what virtues you're working on in that person's life? Oh, that came out nicely. Beautiful. Compassion. So this masculine is compassionate. Alright, show me the feminine energy that the collective came here. The feminine is learning to be content. And, oh Lord Jesus, the feminine is having courage while being content. Alright, what connects these two? Wow, wow. <laughs> goodness, oh my goodness. Forgiveness, joy, and generosity is what connects you. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, with wisdom. So we may have learned a lesson here. And we're grateful. We have a lot of gratitude. Awesome. All right. So whoever this is, the masculine is compassionate. The feminine is content and courageous. You could be dealing with a Leo. We have forgiveness, we have joy, we have generosity, and we have gratitude showing up here. Beautiful energy. All right. Now, let's get to Tarot for the Divine Masculine or this masculine here. What is the overall Tarot energy that's working in this person's life spirit? Thank you so very much. Wow. Oh, wow. Sagittarius and Gemini are here. The magician and temperance. So this person is making things happen and being patient, being self-controlled in the process and having compassion. All right. What about this feminine over here that's being content and courageous? The chariot. They must be moving. Somehow I feel like this feminine over here is moving. And this is going to make for happy changes, whoever this is. They are overcoming. If you're not physically moving, you're overcoming something. <coughs> Spirit says to get the book out. All right, Spirit, message, please. Message. May I have a message, please? Message, please. Okay, it says, you may have a vision of how you want things to turn out, but you have landed on this page as a prompt to think bigger. So whatever the vision is that you have of how you want things to turn out, 
Spirit says, think bigger. Wow, Collective Spirit is saying that this is going to be more amazing than you imagined. Okie dokie then. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm loving it. All right, let's see what's going on in this Divine Masculine's life. Or this person, this masculine. What's, what's going on in their life, Spirit? Forgive. I am willing to forgive. Remember forgiveness? This masculine is willing to forgive. forgive. Forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost any problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. I forgive and I set myself free. So this person is either forgiving or being forgiven. I am willing to forgive. It sounds like they are doing the forgiving. All right, what about this feminine over here? How are you working in her life? I am at peace with my age. Wow. Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. My throat chakra is trying to close. I turn every experience into an opportunity. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. So you've been through something that you've had to be content and courageous. You've probably had to deal with something in the last few days that was uncomfortable. But you've decided that you're just going to be okay with it. You're going to be fine right where you are. You're not going to let it stress you out. All right. What, what's connecting these two as far as these cards are concerned? I am safe in the universe and all, lo all life loves and supports me. So the two of you are understanding that you're safe in the universe and that all life loves and supports you. And we have... Um, I breathe in the fullness and richness of life. I observe jo with joy, remember joy, as life abundantly supports and supplies me with more good than I can imagine. There's really good things coming in this situation between the two of you. That's what I see here. There's been something that's been forgiven. There's joy. So there's been some generosity. Somebody's given somebody something. Could have received a gift. And then there's gratitude. You could have exchanged gifts, honestly. And then on the bottom of the deck, it is, I am open and receptive to new avenues of income. I now receive my good from expected and unexpected sources. I am un an unlimited being accepting from an unlimited source. I am in unlimited ways. I am blessed beyond my fondest dreams. Remember, dream bigger. Whatever you're imagining, think bigger, Spirit says. You're blessed beyond your, your um, fondest dreams. Alrighty then. So, how do we want to do this, Spirit? Let's pull some tarot on this, shall we? Spirit says no. To get some oracle. Okay. You're the boss. You're the boss. Okay. I'm going to use the Spirit Animal Oracles by Colette Baron Reed. They're very nice cards. All right, Spirit, talk to me about this divine masculine or this faint, this fellow over here. Be at home and watch your word, divine masculine or gentleman. Be at home and watch your word. So maybe there's somebody in your life that you want to cuss out right now. But not, even, <laughs> not cuss them out. Oh my god, my face is itching like crazy. Oh, I hope you're not doing anything to make me itch. Whew. All right. And time to let go and watch your words. So I think there's somebody in your life that you'd like to tell off right now and you've decided to have forgiveness instead. Sing your own song. Time to let go. Time to let go. You sing your own song. Okay. 
Alright, talk to me about what's going on with this. What is this? This came over here on your side. Here it says you need to be playful, Divine Feminine. It came out on your side. That's where it's staying. Alright, Divine Masculine Spirit. The Abundant Universe will provide Divine Masculine. Number 10 for you. Number 6 for you. Alright, connecting energy, please. Believe in yourself, and it's time to collaborate. This is both of you. Believe in yourself and collaborate. Time for y'all to collaborate. Co-create with spirit. You see, you're, you're about to have communication about something. If you haven't already, you're going to collaborate about something. Let me get... Let me, let me see. Can I see what the collaboration may be about? Transformation is beautiful and reclaim your power. My whole back is tingling. Ooh. And today and yesterday, while I've been at my mom's, I've been going out to the water and sitting. The, the weather's been beautiful here. Mm -hmm. And sitting on the picnic table and doing my meditation. And let me tell you, I laid down on the picnic table. And I'm not kidding you, it felt like the picnic table was breathing. The wood under my back was literally breathing, and I was having to keep up with the wood breathing. It was the wildest thing I've ever experienced. But you're going to collaborate about transformation. So something is changing in this situation. And it has to do with, with y'all reclaiming your power. Somehow you've given your power away to somebody or something. And you're going to be here now. So maybe you're separate. And this movement is to bring you closer together. This divine feminine is moving, it looks like. Or somebody's moving or overcoming. That's been showing up for a while. Alright. So show me please, if you will, what's going on here. Why is the magician in temperance here? I've got a karmic partner and a wish fulfillment. So it looks like there might be a karmic relationship in me. That might be the forgiveness. Oh, I lost them. Let's see what they are. I'll put them back. Okay, it's what's the T? What's the T? Why is somebody so disappointed? What's the T in karmic partner? Y'all know I gotta look. Spirit's indicating there's some tea about a karmic partner. I think somebody's mad at a karmic partner. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Where are my cards? Why are not... There they are. These are in the wrong place. Alright. Tea, please. What's the tea? Why is there a dip there's disappointment here? Because there was a romantic gesture made. Somebody made a romantic gesture, and the answer was yes. Hmm. That's the key. That somebody made a gesture, and the answer was yes. How is that tea spirit for this karmic partner? All right. <clears throat> it's a lot of cards. Because somebody's been getting ignored. They're cold. And they made a pinky promise. Psycho. And then trapped or stuck. What's this card? The answer was no. Wow. Somebody made a romantic gesture and the answer was no. They got ignored. The person was cold hearted. Even though they promised something. And then somebody went psycho. Even though they were trapped. So they were they might have gone psycho and got locked up. <laughs> They're entrapped though. They're confined. Might be uh, married to their job also. Why are they confined? Because of some secrets, a secret admirer, and a date night. Hmm. And mystery undisclosed something is unknown there's secrets all over this y'all somebody was secretly having an affair and they got caught because they wouldn't answer the phone it looks like <coughs> it looks like to me that somebody promised that they would be there 
They didn't answer the phone, which was cold-hearted. The, the other person went psycho, even though they were confined. They couldn't get out of the place they were in. And there's secrets and secrets and a date and something else that's secret. <laughs> Lots of secrets here. Somebody, somebody cheated, it looks like. This current partner cheated. So now there's going to be something new. We have an Ace of Pentacles. But the Ace of Wands is in reverse. And there's another secret. Aquarius is here. Virgo is here. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I don't know. <laughs> That's the T though. Somebody had a date and got caught. And it was disappointing. So... Somebody was cheating, and Spirit is saying, maybe you, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like to me that this man's money was tied up in this woman who cheated. And now Spirit is saying, the universe will provide for you. Get out of that situation. And you need to collaborate with this woman over here and be receptive to new avenues of money. You can make money in other ways. This is not the only way to make money with this person who cheated. And this is going to transform this relationship. But you have to reclaim your power, both of you. That's what's working here. And that there's going to be joy, forgiveness, generosity, and gratitude. So you may have to help one another out somehow, financially or otherwise, to get by. And... Divine Feminine, you're just being playful over here. And you're going to turn every experience, even the most disappointing ones ever, into an opportunity. And you're at peace with your age. You know, maybe you're older in life like I am. Or maybe you're too young. I mean, you, you feel that way, not that you are. Oh, the Seven of Swords and the Hermit. So we got more deception coming out. <laughs> Interesting reading, guys. We have a karmic partner who cheated. And it looks like this man decided to get out of that relationship, quite honestly. Uh, show me Divine Masculine's true, true feelings towards this relationship over here, Spirit. True feelings, the hidden feelings that they don't say. Oh. Awakening came out kind of sideways, which is feelings of oneness and surrendering. They they see you as the Queen of Cups. They see you as one of the most loving queens there are. I mean, you can't get any more loving than this. This could be a cancer. Why do they feel um, a little unawakened? Wow their money their money and their success they they've lost a lot with this relationship this person who cheated there's a ten of pentacles in reverse so they could have really lost everything and they see you as successful and also having boundaries like you don't put up with any bullshit you're fighting for this relationship but you won't put up with bullshit to have it that's what I see here <laughs> alright What would they like to see happen? The Ten of Swords, Judgment in Reverse, the Moon in Reverse, and the Two of Swords. Alright, so this other stuff has to end. Something has to end. There's, there's been some betrayal, too. That's where this forgiveness comes in. I think that there was some secrets about this person. Like, they probably started seeing you and, may, like, led you to believe that you were the only one. And all of a sudden, you find out that they have somebody else. They could have even told you, you know, oh, that's over, that's done, there's nothing to that. And this led to some bad decisions, judgment in reverse, and to some secrets coming out, and to somebody not being able to make a decision. That's how they, that's what they see. That's kind of the situation they're in. They might feel like you're not going to let them make a decision. Let's clarify. 
Why is the two of swords here? Because the children. Okay. There's a situation that's not working out because of children. Something ended painfully, I might add. And there's some children involved that they, it's not working out. Something's not working out here because of the children. Or they don't think it'll work out. What could work here, Spirit? Show me. There's going to be communication about it. Why? Wow, that came out with fourth over here. Because you're looking at something new. It looks like you're over here exploring something new, ready to move into the next stage of love. You want to talk about moving forward with this relationship. What did they want to talk about? What does the masculine want to talk about, spirit? Work. They want to work on this. You want to work on this. What will be the outcome? <clears throat> what might be the outcome based on what we know now? Oh, my God. The, the, oh, basically there's going to be rejection or somebody thinks there's going to be rejection one of you thinks you're going to be rejected or feels rejected by the other seven of swords and rejection why are they feeling rejected yeah, because they got hurt and they don't want to remember anymore their independence is in reverse. Damn. The Queen of Wands. So, it looks like this karmic partner could be a Queen of Wands, or you might be. That could be a Leo. And you got hurt in the past. It went through some dark times, and you had a hard time taking care of yourself. You could be a Leo. That might be who got rejected. That's, that's what might happen in this relationship is this rejection. All right. Why is the magician here with temperance for him? Unawakened. Again, somebody's unawakened. They don't understand their love here. All right. How are you manifesting not being awake? We'll clarify what you mean by... I don't understand how that's the magician. Why is... Maybe you're manifesting this relationship. You're trying your hardest to manifest this relationship. You want to be happy with this person, but you know they have to make a choice between you and this other person. That's so sad. And you're manifesting it with all your heart. And being patient, tempered while you do. Alright, why is the chariot here for Divine Feminine? Everything's coming out in reverse. Because Divine Feminine is waiting. You're waiting. It looks like you might be. You're waiting for this third party to end. Bless your heart. What's the chance that it'll end? Look, the Ace of Cups came out. <laughs> the Ace of Cups came out. It's sideways, but there's an Ace of Cups. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Divine Feminine? Oh, you've got your heart broken. There's a Queen of Swords right now. But it doesn't see something. Why is the queen? Why is the hangman here? It looks like you stopped talking to this person because of this. Because of the gossip. The tea. Because of the tea that we saw. It's like, I'm done here. You look like you're pretty much done. You're trying to heal from this. Show me the tea again for this woman over here. Oh, baby. Somebody is unapologetic. They're a player and they're fake. And then there's an, an undisclosed mystery. 
There's going to be a date night with a secret admirer and more secrets. Alright, can I get... What's going on with this masculine over here? There's been some destruction that caused an ending and some lessons, and now they're thinking. It, so, something happened here. I'm telling you, something happened. <laughs> Somebody cheated. All right, what about this feminine? What's going on with this feminine over here? You're having fear. That's why you're having to have courage, because you're afraid. You've been hurt. All right, the, the relationship, what's going on here? Something happened in the fall. What else? <clears throat> Mirroring came out. But it came out in reverse. And I think the reason why it came out in reverse is because you don't want to mirror this kind of behavior. So I think you've just decided you're done with this. And that's probably who the Divine Feminine, probably the one that... I think you're like, no, you can't mirror this anymore. I'm done. Because once you realize you're mirroring something and it's not good behavior, you don't have to keep that pattern up. You have a choice. All right, what else, Spirit? Anything else for this? Spirit yeah, says right now you're, you're on a pause, but it's in reverse. So you're fixing to have some movement here. The answer is going to be yes, because somebody's seeing signs. About a soulmate. Show me what they're seeing. What signs are they seeing? <laughs> Release turned over, but I'm going to put it back. Oh, wait, here's one. Holy cow. They're seeing that somebody is not talking about their big dreams in this metamorphosis. Remember the metamorphosis that you need to discuss? The change. They're not telling you, but they're seeing that this is a these they have big dreams of change in the separation. What 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 do they want with these big dreams? Healing. Healing for their inner child. They regret something that happened to them when they were little. Alright, what else, Spirit? They're numbing. They're probably drinking or taking drugs or something. Spirit says, Divine Masculine, something's going to happen for you in the spring. In the spring, baby. Something's coming big for Divine Masculine in the spring. And you're going to hear about it. Communication is here. <coughs> Beautiful. God bless you. Alright, what would this masculine, what would the feminine say to this masculine spirit? We're so different, I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. What else would they say? There's a lot of differences, I guess. The feelings I have for you overwhelm me, so I'll run away to process them. I want to see you, and... I want this so badly, but I'm afraid of getting hurt, so I self-sabotage. So, there's a lot of differences. You could have racial differences, or you could have same-sex. Something's different about you. One of you could just be wild, and the other one could be preppy. I mean, it doesn't have to be real extreme, but there's differences, and they don't know how it's going to work. Maybe they have a lot of money, and you don't, or vice versa. This is a very intense connection. They want to see you bad, and they have some fears. All right. What would the masculine say to this feminine right here? What would they say? Thank you. They're stubborn. And... I'm going to come sweep you away. Say <laughs> They want to come sweep you away. And then on the bottom of the deck it says, I'm, I keep being drawn back to you and I can't explain why. Alright, let's get a card out of here for what they would say. What would they say out of this deck? Came out on your side, Divine Feminine. I can't handle your words right now. 
And I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. All right, how about over here on Divine Masculine side, what would be said? You've been in my dreams. And something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. And I feel the dream thing, because I dreamed about all of this the other night. It was the weirdest dream ever. All right, what kind of healing needs to take place in here? Divine masculine, let go. What about divine feminine over here? Ooh, they're coming out with force. How teachable are you in the connection together? There's some sadness here and some temptation. Anything else here? There's soulmate. That's not twin flame, but it can be. And home on the bottom of the deck. All right. Angels, what would you say here? Angel of procrastination is here and grounding. So get grounded. And my back is tingling so bad. I definitely reawoke something while I was meditating. Okay. You need to make a decision about a new beginning. And there's an angel helping you in your dreams also with determination on the bottom of the day. Spirit said to get angel cards from here. Angels, how are you helping with this relationship? Prayer and love. Prayer and love. How beautiful is that? Anything else? Divine plan. And protection. This connection is protected in every aspect that it can be protected in. All right. What about this psychic gift? What, what kind of psychic gift message do you have? Spiritual gift message. Your family. Tree of life. Tree of life showed up. What else? Mm -hmm. Infinity. This is definitely um, a soulmate twin flame connection. Phoenix rising in nature. Make sure you're staying grounded. And then your coins are showing up. You might be finding coins or you might have some money coming to you. Let's check. Talk to me about this divine masculine's money spirit. You've got to be persistent. And something is unrealistic. What else, Divine Feminine? Something's unrealistic. I just saw a card turn over. And it has to do with beauty. Somehow you're unrealistic when it comes to beauty. Maybe your standards are too high. Maybe... Oh, no. Let's see what it says. Your expectations in the future are unrealistic and need revision. Perhaps the vision is big and may require a plan and need more careful thought. You could be setting yourself up for failure if you don't set realistic financial goals. <clears throat> Embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Consider a career doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances others' beauty. Your inner world must match your outer world. So there's something unrealistic about your beauty. I don't know what that might mean. Only you know. All right, anything else for Divine Feminine? Work hard in silence, Divine Feminine. Spirit wants you to work hard in silence. I feel you. I feel you. Anything else for this connection as a whole? Say yes to the things you think you can't do. There's something legal here. What about this legal? Somebody could be incarcerated. That might be why they work confined. Success will find you. Peacemaker and motivator came out. Success will find you. There will be peace made. And somebody's going to be motivated. Motivated for what, Spirit? Spirit says to be careful. Caution. Caution about what? The media. Success will find you. This is going to be peaceful. 
you're going to be motivated, but be careful of media. <coughs> Clarify what you mean. Be careful what you say on the TV, it looks like, or on YouTube. The Rebel and Unexpected. There's somebody that's a rebel doing something unexpected, maybe. And you might need to be a writer. Alright, anything else, Spirit? I have, you're about to level up. Somebody needs to ask for help. Don't let perfectionism keep you from getting where you need to be in life. And you're going to be a designer. Some of you might work in retail also, but you're about to go to the next level. You may need to ask for help with your perfectionism if you're a designer. Anything else? That's just for what, somebody's a rescuer and they're unethical. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Anything positive you can say here. The writer, you need to have growth in your business. <clears throat> You're gonna have growth in your business. And somebody's an entertainer. Uh, one more time, Spirit says, talk to me about the entertainer. What's gonna happen to the entertainer? Show me what's gonna happen with the entertainer, Spirit. You need a promoter. You're a crafter taking a risk. You need to take a risk on your craft and let it be promoted. So I think you need to spend a little money promoting your craft, your, your videos, because you have angelic help. You're going to have angelic help. Okay, what else, Spirit? Let's just see what these cards will say here. What do you have to say about this situation, Spirit? Tricky one, isn't it? It's a tricky one. Yep, it turned all the way over, so I'm not going to take it. Alright, what do you want to say about this situation? Wow. Be patient. This past life love is protected. <clears throat> but you need some boundaries. And there's something going on with a soulmate learning a lesson and being in denial. Alright, anything else, Spirit? Here it says, use your intuition. Play hard, Divine Feminine. Somebody's vulnerable and you need to wait because there's interference. And somebody's healing. Alright, what would you say out of here? That was quick. One of you is doing too many fucking chores. That person better get laid now. <laughs> what else? Stop trying to control every damn thing. Let shit go. Don't be so extra. Oh, wow. Unplug. Interrupting is for assholes. And then fill in the blank. Go solo. Fuck feelings. Just say those five little words. Alright. That was a lot. Alright, so this is saying unplug, turn it off, it turns them on. Somebody interrupts a lot, and let them fucking finish. And then we have this blank card where you fill in the blank. So, it looks like to me that somebody got in an argument. <clears throat> and now they're single. And they're saying, fuck your feelings. And then go out to eat with somebody else. Or go out to eat with that person. And then it says, go all in or get the fuck out. I think it's saying, just say those five little words. Go all in or get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> get, or get the fuck out. Yeah, I think they're just saying, it's over. Somebody, somebody broke up here. And you can't say thank you enough. They deserve a medal for putting up with your ass. Yeah, somebody split up. If you haven't heard about it, you're probably going to. They've been in an argument, and it looks like to me it was Divine Masculine had an argument with their person, and they broke up with them. And it doesn't look like you're having much to do with them right now, Divine Feminine, but it looks like there will be some communication. 
Show me what's going to happen next in this relationship, Spirit. There's some old wounds that somebody's healing from. And there's some secrets coming out. And then you need to collaborate. What, what, what do you mean? There's a queen of there's a queen of wands again in reverse that was playing mind games. There's a lot of just unnecessary bullshit with this person. Either they did this to you or this person did this to them. Take it as it resonates. But this is probably a Leo. And they're playing mind games and being controlling. Or somebody's doing that to them. And the Ten of Cups is like unconditional love. But when it's in reverse, it's like, I'm through. I'm done loving this. I'm done. And Divine Masculine in reverse on the bottom of the day. I think somebody's over this relationship. Completely over it. For whatever reason they have. Alright, can I get a new sis, please? Who are you talking about, sis? I is in Isaiah. E is in Edward. D is in dog. L is in Larry. K is in Kelly. H is in hello. H is in hello. I want to find out why the sun is in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse on the bottom of that deck? I mean, not why is it upright? Why is the sun, um, because there's a relationship that's going to have equality. There's a relationship that's broken because it needs equality. Can you clarify who this is or what? The stars here, Aquarius. It has to do with competition. There's hope about competition. Clarify the competition, please. The Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So, this is somebody who's been through some heavy stuff. And it looks like they've lost it all. Like, the Ace of Wands is a spark. But when it's in reverse, it's dead in the water. Like, I don't want anything else to do with this. And they, what they lost was their money. And they, but even though they lost a lot of money, which we saw over and over again, they got freedom from a toxic situation. Because they finally recognized that they were wasting their time with somebody who didn't care about them or they didn't care about them. There was just not enough there to keep that going. And they know now that they have somebody that does care. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So that's what's up. All right. One more time with the dice. <laughs> one more time with the dice. L as in Linda. N as in Nancy. F as in Francis. B as in boy. R as in Randy. B as in boy. D as in dog. Do it twice. R is in Randy, P is in Paula, J is in Jason, A is in Amanda, V is in Vicky, B is in Boy, A is in Apple. Alright, this is the last roll. H is in Hello, Q, A is in Apple, T is in Tom, W, D is in Dog, N is in Nelson. Alright, can you can get all right, trinkets, please. All right, I have a huge starfish, a piece of crystal, a Catholic pendant, weakness is a choice, strong is beautiful, I will, a cross, a baby foot, the word love in a heart, a marble, a tree of life, family tree, a skeleton key, a butterfly, a peace sign, an anteater, the twins in a heart, a Mickey Mouse key, the key to the kingdom, I can, a butterfly, I have a hand and a crown, there's a card reader watching, I love you infinity, I have a magnet, and I have another butterfly, this relationship is definitely transforming. <coughs> I'm so glad to be back.
If you want a private reading, please reach out to me. I have a piece of lapis, a light bulb, a world, a ball, a skeleton hand, an angel, another angel, identical angels, the word wish. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. There's your other ball. The cherries, an arrow, Sagittarius, the heart in German, a horse. Believe in love. Live, laugh, and love. Another ball, an infinity sign, a feather. I love you to the moon and back and drive safe. I need you here with me. All right, you guys, that's the reading for now. I'll be back very soon to do all of the signs and do predictions for the next 12 months. If you enjoyed this well video, done, well done. thank you, Miss Mary. If you enjoyed this, will you please let me know by um, liking the video, subscribe, make sure you're subscribed so you can get notified when I upload new content. And I just want to say thank you because I looked back at the videos while I was at my mom's and just looked at how many people have watched them and have liked them and have commented. And you guys have really blown me away. Like, I can't believe how much support you've given me. It truly, truly touches me. That was the best gift ever. Thank you, and I love you so much. And I hope and pray that you will be abundantly, abundantly blessed for everything you've done to support me. And I know that you will. Bye.